Welcome back to Nengi's Kitchen. <laughs> My people, welcome here. Welcome, welcome. You are most welcome. Grab your popcorn. Grab your bed. Come and sleep here. Let us eat this scrumptious soup together. <laughs> Look at it now. Look at it. Don't you like it? Do you love it? Oh yeah, let us make it. <laughs> These are the ingredients we'll be needing. And this soup is a native soup from Ogoni. Ogoni is a an ethnic group in River State, Nigeria. Yes, this is a native soup in Thai, it is called Akonya E. In Gokana, it is called Posan E. In Kana, it is called Akonya. So these are the ingredients. It is unique. It is tasty and nutritious. These are some of the things we are using. These ones are periwinkles in the shell. If you do not like the shell, you can use the ones out of the shell. But this is very, very nice for you to use it. Interesting. Are you ready? Have you subscribed to Nengi's Kitchen on YouTube? Have you subscribed? Eh? Have you ever eaten Akbonya A soup before? Bosan A Akbonya. Have you? Have you? Have you? Sit down. Get ready. Just look at the ingredients. Look at this. This is called Bomo. Yoruba speaking states, they call it Bomo. In Portacos, we call it Kanda. In English, it is cow skin. Look at this one. This one is stockfish. Oboroko. And this is the ear. Eat this one and you will hear what? <laughs> stockfish ear. Eat it and you will hear what? If you were hard and hard at hearing before, you will hear what? Just kidding. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So this is a native soup that is very nutritious and scrumptious. Excellent soup that you would love. I am so sure you would love it because I loved it to the latter. It was sweet to the end. Look at Congo meat. African giant snails. Look at them. Look at them. First class protein. First class protein that is poised to give you all the nutrients your body needs. <laughs> Do you love snails? Tell me in the comment section. And this one is dried pepper. Yes, to pepper our meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pepper it. If you don't like pepper, omit it. And this is palm oil. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You could reduce your oil if you don't like too much oil. This is onion. You don't like onion, leave it. Skip it. You don't like onion. And then what is it? Skip it. You don't, you don't need to use it. But I love it. Now look at one of our star ingredients. Look at it. Ugu leaves. AKA fluted pumpkin leaves in English. It is a blood tonic and blood booster. Now, this soup is so unique because the ugu will not be sliced. It is just washed, boiled, and blended. Look at our meat. Our meat is ready. It is ready to be cooked. Now, we have washed the meat and the stockfish is going in. Now, I don't put water when I'm boiling my meat. I allow the meat to release all its liquids first before I add water. So now this is seasoning. You can use any seasoning of choice. The next thing that will go in is our pepper. After that, what will come in will be salt. Then onion. You can add anything you add, you like to add when you're seasoning. It depends on you. So stay very well so everything will combine. Remember, no water. Just add onion. If you like to add garlic, if you love it, you can add it. It is healthy, of course. So have you had a soup before? Have you had this soup before? Have you ever, have you, have you had a, about, have you heard about it before? Now, this is unique. Nengi's Kitchen is poised to bring you unique recipes. Yes, Nigeria, we love to enjoy. And this is one recipe you should try. Yes, try this recipe and come back and tell me, did you love it or not? I bet you, you would love it. So back to our meat. Look, I haven't added any water. I cover it, I put on the fire, allow it to cook. Now, you watch it closely. Just watch it closely so it doesn't get burnt. Remember, you haven't added water. I haven't added water, but see, the meat has released some of its liquids. So when this water dries up, then I'll now add water and cook it to the texture I like. If you like it very soft, you can you can you 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 can continue cooking. This one now is isam that enter. Isam is called periwinkle in English. 
So it is already caught. It's been caught. It was caught in the market. They made it easy. Yeah, so I just got back and washed them thoroughly. If not, I would have shown you how it was caught, but it was caught in the market. So it has reduced my preparation time. I'm boiling the meat to how I want it. Look at it. The water is almost dried now. So now I can now add water. Do you cook your meat like this? I put a little water. So if you want to get rich stock, start by adding little water, little water, not too much at a time. Remember, no water from the beginning first till the meat rele rele releases all its juices, all the water before you now start adding water. And it is good to add the periwinkle at that time I added it. So all the flavor from the meat, from the stockfish would go in. You would love it. When you're sucking this thing, you will love it. Now look at our cow skin. Kanda is going in too, so that it would have flavor. It will have taste to be, to be sweet. When you eat it, you know, yes, I have eaten. Yes, I've eaten something very sweet and satisfying. <laughs> so tell me, have you ever seen this soup before? Excellent soup. Any adjective you can use to qualify this soup would not be too much. Very, very, very delicious. Now our snail is coming in. It's coming in now because the meat is almost cooked. If you like the snail very, very soft, add it earlier than now. If not, you can add it now. I didn't put all together so it doesn't cook. It, it doesn't cook and be too soft because the cooking times are different for the three. Now another thing you, you should add if, if available is dried fish. Yes, you would love it. Dried fish is awesome here. Now see our leaf. I fluted pumpkin leaves. I just peel them. And as I'm peeling, look at how I, I, I just pluck them. Sorry, not peel, pluck them. So when I pluck them, I will now wash them. I'm not adding all the stock because remember we're pounding. We're pounding. This soup is unique because we boil the leaves. After boiling, we just pound them, put them in the mortar and pound them. Now, because... Things are changing. People want easy, you know, who, who doesn't want easy, easy style? You can blend it. But if you blend it, the leaves will not be like when you pounded them up. Of course, it will be different. So have you liked this video? Did you just come? Did you just say what is happening? Yes, we are preparing a native delicacy from Ogoni land of River State, Nigeria, West Africa. Welcome. Please subscribe, like the video, comment, tell me. Nengi, I've seen this soup before. Nengi, I've eaten it before. I had it with Loilo. Yes, Loilo is fufu. I had it with Loilo. I had it with Gary. No, I prefer it with Yellow Gary. I prefer it with just share your, share your experience. Tell me how you felt. And if you've never seen it before, if it's new to you, tell me. But I, I, I bet you, try it, you would love it. This is one soup that you would come back asking for more. You would go for two, three servings. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very delicious and nutritious. So this is it. Then you wash your vegetables very, very well. I wash at least four times. Four times. After plucking, I wash. Now, watch. Our sous chef is going to blend our pepper. This is the pepper we're using. If it is too small for you, you can add more. If it's too much, you can reduce it. Depends on your tolerance level. Look at our sous chef's hand. Yes, our chef de party. Yes, yeah, she's, she's doing her own job. She's blending. <laughs> <laughs> have you liked this video have you have you have you <laughs> yeah so look at our crayfish our sous chef is blending this one too i usually wash my crayfish when i'm not sure of the sauce this one is clean so i'm very sure i'm blending it dry ah come and try this soup come and try this soup. it's time to boil our vegetable our ugu leaves it is time it's already washed. They're all washed. They are going into the pot. I'll pour water, cover it, allow it boil. Immediately it boils because I don't want to cook the nutrients. I'll, I'll take it off the fire. Take it off and strain the water. Then I'll pound it. Yes, look at it. It's ready. Have you had this soup before? Have you had it? Does it look strange? Or does it look, ah, ah, what's happening? What's happening? Look at the soup. Look at this soup, our Ogoni native soup. Share your comments. Tell me, do you like it? Would you like to try it? I will encourage you to try it because it is awesome. You would love it. You would love it. It is so delicious. And then I'd like to give you a tip. If you don't want the soup to be dark, add more palm oil. That's what I do because I love palm oil. Pound it to how your satisfaction. Look at it. You don't really have to because you're, when you pound it and you blend it, it is not going to give you the same result. So pound as much as you can pound. Look at the chlorophyll. There, see that green thing. 
Ah, this is the blood tonic. Blood tonic. Now it's time to cook. We have our periwinkle in the pot already. I've already removed the meat, the stock fish. I removed them so they don't cook too much. Now I've put the pepper. Just follow these steps. I've put the pepper and I've stirred. This is crayfish. Crayfish that we blended. Stir. The next thing that will come in would be water. Watch this soup and tell me. Ah, are you loving this soup? Yes, it's Nengi's Kitchen. <laughs> Poised to bring you recipes that you have never seen before. Look at our oil. If you love more palm oil, you can add more. If you don't want to, you can add little. Just it depends on your choice. Tweak it to how you love it. But the main goal is to enjoy yourself. <laughs> ah, soup, soup, soup. The sweets. Ah, ah, soup. The sweet, soup. The sweet. Lovely, lovely and delicious. Please, I'd love your feedback. I'd love your feedback. Tell me. Look at the soup now. Sea soup. Sea soup. Ah, ah. Sea soup. Check out. Eh? If this were a woman, what would you call it? What would you call her? Now the snail has gone in. Ah, I can perceive. Can you perceive the aroma? Ooh, I can perceive the aroma. <laughs> now, see, we have isam out of shell. I'm adding this because my mom is going to eat this soup and she doesn't like to suck the one in the shell. She doesn't like that isam in the shell. She, she prefers the one out of the shell. So, I put the one in the shell for myself and I put this one for her. But the original soup is with the one in the shell. Enjoy our soup. Ah! Bosa e akmoya. That is it. Look at it. Now, these are the blended leaves. Once it gets into the pot, once it gets into the pot, you don't cook it anymore. Just stir it very well and turn up the heat. Remember, it had been cooked before. So we want to get all the nutrients intact, complete. Ha! Have you liked this video? Do you like what you see? Enjoy it. Enjoy it with any swallow of choice. It can be yellow gari. It can be white gari. It can be loi loi. You can just enjoy eating it like that. Whatever, how you want to enjoy it. Enjoy yourself. That's the ultimate goal. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Oh yeah now. Bye. Oh, yeah, now. Thanks for Bye. watching. Bye. <laughs>